Hi, Rob Leonard here in the Hazel's Wine Department, and we are bringing you Sunday specials for November 24th and 25th. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back. We've got three wines to talk about, three styles this week, and we're going to start in the north of Italy. This is the 2020 Valdoca Millisimato Prosecco. Now, Millisimato really just literally means vintage, and this is a 2020 vintage Prosecco. You might be asking yourself, gosh, four years old, is it showing some signs of age? And frankly, it is a little bit, but not in a bad way. So up front, when this wine was young and new, there would have been this very nice sort of super fresh orange, sort of mandarin orange, those lovely ripe strawberry and red berry fruits. What's happened with a little time in bottle is that orange especially has gotten into sort of a dried orange peel kind of place, and it's picked up a little sense of something almost earthy or nutty. We do find that in Prosecco, but here that's emphasized a little bit. So really, in fact, what it does is it gives a nice sort of chunkier feel to the fruit, dries it out just a little bit. This is an extra dry style, so there will be a bit of sweetness here. Do not mistake me on that but they actually managed to keep some good acidity as well. So it's a very nicely balanced style, really easy drinking, approachable vintage Prosecco. We're off to California now. We are in Paso Robles for the 2017 Derby Estates Implico Red Blend. Now with this wine, they are going straight for a Bordeaux style. So classic Bordeaux blend, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot, and so on. And they really did achieve a pretty good take on Bordeaux here. So up front, you get those dark fruits. You're still getting a good dose of new oak on this wine. So that vanilla spice notes are definitely up front on this wine. Some of that chocolatey, earthy note as well. And that's where the Bordeaux sense kind of starts to come into play. We'll get into that almost woody spice sort of place. Very classic Bordeaux, in fact. As it opens up on the palate, the fruit will really come forward. Now, I tried this with and without food, and I will say that the right food, some good protein and fat, really brought the fruit out of this wine. So up front, you get those secondary characteristics, the oak, the cocoa, the spice. But as you get it on your palate and as you get that with the right fruit, this beautiful dark fruits will really start to sing. This is a nicely integrated now, very round, very approachable, full body, but balanced Paso blend. Last but not least, we are in France now. We're going to Burgundy in the Macon for the 2020 Famille Cordier saint -Varin. So saint -Varin is a little area in the Macon in the south of Burgundy I guarantee 100% Chardonnay. If it's white and it says saint Varenne, you are getting Chardonnay here, but this is a very burgundy Chardonnay. So not gonna smash you in the face with everything up front. It's gonna make you work for it a little bit, but if you're into these burgundy Chardonnays, you're gonna pick up immediately on the quality that's in this bottle. Still holding some really lovely, fresh, almost tropical fruits for me. So I was thinking a little bit about some, yeah, some peach fruit, but it really got into this super ripe red apple and those tropical notes, sort of unripe pineapple. Star fruit really stood out for me, sort of crossing the line between tropical and citrus. Bring some of that classic, slightly earthy or nutty tone to the wine as well. No real oak influence here. That's just not how they roll. So little roundness, a little softness to the texture up front, but then that classic burgundy acid really starts to become assertive on the finish. Carries through nicely, good long finish. I will advise you to be just a little patient with this wine. If you can decant it before you drink it, I would recommend it or play with it a little bit in the glass. It will not be super generous up front, but when it wakes up, it will really come on. It is a no-brainer call at this price for you burgundy lovers. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back.